Davis tournament. It's coming out tonight. It's coming out tonight, and they're going to use that satchel very late. Just flash onto the backside of it. In comes Cuz, looking to force it, and it looks like he gets it with the permafrost. First blood onto the zigs in the bottom lane as Cuz comes up with a huge gang. Oh, man. Def teleportless, now flashless as well. Canyon's just a little bit too slow here. A lot of skirmishing here, and finally they commit onto the croc, but they don't take out Kellen. They don't have the damage to take him out, and it's three kills going straight into the pockets of KT. Oh, really rough overextension here for KT. They got the slow damage, but they do. They turn on to Showmaker, but Keen is left all alone. They can't get over the wall. He's so far in there, and DK will take down the Croc in this one. And there you have it. So they want to pull the trigger right now. They just got to go in. KT, you got to do something, and they're going to get the flash out of Showmaker, and that allows them to pick up this Mountain Drake. But in goes Kellen, just going to go down for free. Not much that DK can do to follow up on that. The Satchel is nothing. There's a wall in the way, and a huge divide might help him out, but the Permafrost is coming out, and I don't think Depth is going to get away from this one. No Satchel, no hope as Canyon. Trying to get something done here. He's got Showmaker with a huge amount of damage, but this is 2v3, 2v4 even potentially, and they just stick around for way too long. Keen gonna take him out with the help of BDD as Keen is still in there, and this game is going wild now. I mean, KT deny the dragon, but they're getting even more here. So many kills going over, and I think D plus really bungled this one because there were so many things that went right. You push the Orion of the fight, you force the teleport back in. Really what they got to do, but they got to renect him behind them. They have no idea. Deft is in a lot of trouble. Satchel not going to be able to do much. Gets stunned up and killed immediately as Lahens gets into the thick of things. And KT, they're going to find the fight that they needed this entire time. Double kill already for aiming. Can he line up the Penta? I'm already looking for it because we have so many. Kana, though, trying to get on in there. And unfortunately, he's just going to go down, gives the triple kill over to aiming. This game might have just ended in a couple of plays. Wolf. It looks like it. And once again, okay, they're going to back off. They're going to play it safe. You don't want to go 0-2. Means certain doom here for D plus, but they've got to do something to defend these turrets. They've got good wave clear, but it's just not going to be enough. Doesn't seem to be enough as Cuz in the hands looking for that engage. They'll find anyone. They're going to find Canyon as they go pretty deep for that one. The aftershock maybe saving Cuz, but at this point the damage's not quite there on this. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like that wave clear is there as Kellen just going to be taken out on the bottom side. Lahens finds another engage and Cuz just trying to front line here. The Baron buff just way too much for the Ziggs and Azir to handle, although did they overstep? BDD gets pretty low. Lahens trying to give his life for him as in they go. Hukana just gets ripped to shreds. Saming is huge. 706. He's using that massive wallet right now to just shred through the entirety of DK's team. As Canyon, he's going to respawn, but you can't respawn your Nexus. Canyon, he's going to take the one kill. Does not matter. Aiming and KT will rip through DK and take this game. KT Rolster 